When it comes to potentially challenging Donald Trump in 2024, cracks are showing not just in Ron DeSantis' polling numbers, but also his public demeanor. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So there's this common expression which has some degree of truth in astrophysics, and that expression is, the brightest stars burn the quickest. And that seems to be the case politically, at least with the Republican Party, unless you're Donald Trump, right? So Ron DeSantis, for months, was touted as a viable alternative to Donald Trump for the Republican establishment. He didn't have any of Donald Trump's baggage, certainly didn't have his charisma, but he was seen as kind of a safer bet. He's seen as an effective culture warrior, as governor of Florida. Um, and certainly he is, to whatever extent there's an heir apparent to the Republican Party, Ron DeSantis, even today, is still the next best option in terms of polling. Uh, but the polling is nowhere near as good as it was months ago. Um, and even though Ron DeSantis has not formally announced that he's running for president in 2024, the, the indications are, and his political moves suggest, that he's really putting his feelers out there to try to see if that's a viable path for him, while doing everything in his power to avoid a direct confrontation with Donald Trump, who in turn is doing everything in his power to seek a direct confrontation with Ron DeSantis, because that's where Donald Trump thrives, when he's, you know, throwing political and verbal haymakers at his rivals. Now, the reason I bring this up is because <laughs> Governor DeSantis is now apparently, like, on tour, so to speak. He is actually in Japan, I think, today, meeting with the Prime Minister of Japan to, like, shore up um, <coughs> Florida's <clears throat> business relationships with Japan. And apparently he's going to visit other countries as well. I, and, and this is clearly a pretty transparent attempt to kind of flex whatever foreign policy bona fides DeSantis has, which obviously he doesn't have any. He only ever served in Congress. Now he's governor of Florida. He's never been, you know, at the State Department or anything like that. But anyway, there is a 10-second clip here from, <laughs> from CNN, and it's either at the airport on his way to Japan or it's at the Japanese airport after he arrived. But Ron DeSantis is asked a question about Donald Trump and about the fact that his polling numbers are not what they used to be. And this is just a really uncomfortable, really awkward response from DeSantis that is atypical for him. And uh, I want you to see it in all its cringe glory. Governor, I'll show you falling behind uh, a Trump. Any thoughts on that? Guys, did not I'm, not, I'm not a candidate, so we'll see if, uh, if and when that changes. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not a candidate. I'm not a candidate. You know, he, Meatball Ron, now probably Bobblehead Ron is on the way. I, he, maybe he has an inner ear infection or something like that. He's just got, he's got some vertigo going on. You know what I mean? He's having a hard time with his balance. But that was a really cringe and awkward response to a fair question. Um, the polling isn't looking good for, for Ron DeSantis. And usually DeSantis has enough, I mean, he, he doesn't have charisma. That's absolutely the case. I don't think anyone would say that. Um, but he usually tries to affect this poise. He goes out of his way to avoid getting riled up or triggered. Maybe he does in private. Maybe he's like throwing, you know, tantrums in private. But usually when cameras are on him, DeSantis does everything in his power to seem calm, calm cool, and collected. <clears throat> but if you look, 538's been tracking this and see how once upon a time, you know, DeSantis and, and, uh, uh, Trump were just a you know anywhere from ten to twenty points apart. Well, now the 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 gulf is ever increasing, and DeSantis and this this is aggregated polling, but it's on its way down. Uh, this isn't good for DeSantis. This isn't good for his political aspirations. Um, and seeing the cracks in form, not just in his polling data, but now his demeanor, where he's just like you know he's he's clearly pissed off at the question. He's like, well, I mean, my God, I haven't even formally announced. How dare you ask me such a question? And then maybe one day, if my situation changes, maybe we'll revisit that. I mean, how bizarre, how awkward. And you know, Donald Trump is going to be pouncing on that. And certainly the, the again the bobblehead performance. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Super cringe, super awkward. Doesn't do him any PR favors, especially when this man is like a a void, a glaring, howling abyss of charisma. There's just nothing there. This doesn't help. So uh we'll see how he tries to recover from this, but it's not looking good. Hey you thanks for watching. If you liked the video, and I hope that you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you absolutely hated the video, 
the best revenge for you is also to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. That'll teach me. If you want to share an opinion or share some feedback, go ahead and leave a comment, all right? 2023 is a year of change, hence the aggressive rebrand and commitment to new content. Inspired by my friends Luke Beasley and STV Philly, my personal goal for this channel is to hit 40,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'm hoping you'll do me a solid by spreading the word and the videos to potential fans and hate watchers alike. And in the meantime, we'll be pondering politics again with you very soon.